Welcome back to a recap of some top local headlines this morning, starting with the winds in the forecast today and PG&E might need to proactively turn off power for safety. It could impact over 4,000 customers in eight counties and two tribal communities starting tonight. This is a look at where the potential outages could happen. The utility says the majority of affected customers would be in Tehama and Shasta counties. The potential outages could also expand tomorrow throughout several others, including Tehama, Glen Butte and Columbia. Now to check where you live, go to pg &E's outage map and click on future PSPS outages. From there, you can click and expand to see what time they're anticipated. We'll also have information for you on krcrtv.com. In Humboldt County, we have a response from the Hoopa Valley Tribe following Sunday's fatal officer involved shooting. The tribe says, quote, our thoughts and prayers are with all who have been affected by the tragedy that happened in downtown Hoopa Sunday. Please be assured that the Tribal Council has been working closely with the Department of Justice, the Humboldt County Sheriff's Office and Hoopa Tribal Police. We will do everything we can to ensure that the truth is established and the outcome of the investigation is addressed appropriately, end quote. The statement comes after a man was killed Sunday by a CHP officer during what police called a violent confrontation. Officials say the man was not armed with any deadly weapons at the time of the incident. His name is being withheld pending autopsy. In Chico, there were opponents of the Valley's Edge development carried out what they called a quote living cartoon protest at the city council meeting. Organizers of the protest said they want to tell the story of Mother Earth confronting quote Mr. Pave it over referencing what they're saying is Valley's Edge developers working to bring a major residential zoning plan to Eastern Chico. Opponents have raised concerns when it comes to environmental impacts, traffic and affordability. However, a local real estate agent says the project is what the city needs to keep up with the demand for housing. The latest on talks of potentially creating a new standalone Shasta Fire Department now. There's a meeting three weeks from today to get questions answered and discuss concerns about the upcoming ballot vote on November 7th. That's when voters have to decide three things. Whether or not to create the new department or stay under CAL FIRE. If approved, elect a new board. And finally, they'd need to approve a $20 per parcel annual firefighting fee to pay for the new department. The environment, infor, excuse me, the informational meeting is October 11th at 6 p.m. at Shasta Elementary School. Plans for a prescribed 200 acre plus burn near Shingletown today have been canceled due to wind. Cal Fire had made the decision to postpone the prescribed burn yesterday. Weather can have a significant impact as we know on those burns for many reasons, including wind and heat. Cal Fire is monitoring those weather conditions as of right now. The prescribed burn has been pushed back to Friday and still may change. And we'll go to Preston now with that weather outlook for us. Yeah, and as the winds really the story across the region today, expecting mostly sunny conditions, but ve but very breezy northerlies out of the coast. Temperatures topping out in the low to mid 60s there and just about 80 inland, not quite as gusty, but still breezy blue skies across the board. And that continues to be the case in the valley as well. We're looking at about 88 in Redding, 81 in Chico. Those north winds picking up throughout the course of the day and further south into Butte County. You might not even see those north winds until tomorrow, but let me show you that timeline in detail. Breezy out of the coast right now and continuing into the afternoon as well as across the the eastern high country, but we get that surge down I-5 into the overnight hours, really peaking at about 40 mile per hour gusts in places like Redding, Red Bluff and Corning throughout the night, staying gusty all the way through the day tomorrow before finally calming things down into your overnight hours on Thursday and into Friday. So please be fire smart out there today and plan for those winds. Maybe secure your outdoor furniture. Do anything you can uh, to stay safe out there as we navigate some pretty intense weather today. Yeah, big, big, important thing to look out for. And of course, we're monitoring those public safety power shutoffs that may happen starting tonight around seven is what we're hearing. Shasta and Tehama counties again are going to be the biggest areas affected if that power does go off. But again, monitor that online on our website, krcrtv.com. We'll keep you posted throughout the day as things change. And now we're going to go to chime in. How about this for a beautiful photo? At least we get some beautiful photos at the yeah, end of the show after exactly. all that serious. This is from uh, sent to us by Jim Cahoon of a stunning sunset. Don't you just love it when the sky turns orange during a sunset? I love it. It's perfect. It's beautiful. And uh, yeah, I, I can sit and watch the sunset, of course, probably with some sunglasses safely. I want Jim's <laughs> view. Thank yeah. you, Jim. And this second picture was sent to us by Tammy Steege of a hummingbird. <laughs> Tammy says its belly is full after a cold night. Yeah, <laughs> looks like a good meal. That is so sweet. You know, my best friend who passed, Trinity, uh, every time, you know, she, 
a hummingbird was her thing. So whenever I see a hummingbird, oh. I think of her. So oh, that's so isn't sweet. Isn't that beautiful? Truly. Yeah. That was a, that's a full hummingbird. Had a nice <laughs> little uh, dinner before we went to bed. Last exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for choosing to wake up with us. Folks are taking a nice stroll this morning as we leave you with a live look from the Sundial Bridge. By the way, a viewer who saw us talk about the Sundial Bridge every day came by the station yesterday from Lolita to visit the Sundial. How sweet. Thanks so much. She's making it a great day. You've got a choice.